Now the all-important shake. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, that was a really good game. All right, bottom of the sixth. Ormagants taking this objective, but only three of them left. And Tyranid Warriors taking this objective over here, but only one Tyranid Warrior left. Now for the almighty roll to go into the seventh turn. Oh. One. That means the game ends. Yep. Yep, that's it. <laughs> okay. That was the hope. Wow. Well, I got to tell All you, right. that was a tense game. Oh my that gosh, awesome. that was close. For a while That was there, really close. Was, I needed well, to... I didn't skunk you by any means. I was by breaking any sweat, means. trying to figure out where I was going to move my guys. Like, there was just so much yeah. stuff all over the place. So the end score is two. Yep. Tyranids, Blood Angels, zero. That's, uh, that's, that's pretty rough. That is pretty rough. Wow, Mephiston just cleaned my clock. He was insane. He was like, excuse me, why? Even though I'm stimming the tide of the entire Tyranid army, I must prevent this psychic attack on the other part of the battlefield. Yeah. Yeah, he I couldn't think, be stopped. I think I need more troops. Oh, yeah, definitely. Get rid of the Jump Terminators. Jump Packers. The what? Get Demon the, Haters? Get rid of the Terminators. Oh, that makes more sense. Put in an Assault Squad. Well, the Terminators with not the Storm Shields yeah. don't make that much sense yeah. nowadays. All right, hold on. Okay, we're here with Mike. Blood Angels player extraordinaire. Okay, I'm I'm very happy with the new codex. I went ten years without a real update to the army book or something. Um, so I'm I'm happy with the army book. Um, if you play, if you have played Blood Angels, you ought to try it. The army works pretty differently. All of the vehicles are fast. Um, that's a huge deal. Uh, you can move. You can shoot all your weapons. Um, if I'd have rolled better... It's like Eldar with tracks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if I'd have rolled better, that would have made a huge difference. But um, the Dreadnoughts are huge. I love the Dreadnoughts. Um, yeah, the slashy things are... Yeah, I think I need more, more Dreadnoughts. That's how the blood talons are recorded in the hive mind. <laughs> slashy slashy things. things. More Dreadnoughts and more Tactical Marines. Or assault marines, either way. More marines. Well, the death company dread can be a troop's choice, right? Yeah, it can. And most people probably won't be paying attention. Like, yeah. they, in their mind, they won't register that as a scoring unit. They're, they're not scoring. Oh, okay, my yeah. bad. But they are fleet. Fleet is good. That's awesome. Yeah? Well, that's great. Mephiston is just... Oh, man, he is just a one-man show. I couldn't believe... With no retinue, I'm like, oh, I'm going to just toast him. But nope. Yeah, all the special I'm not going to toast him. Yeah, the special characters are really cool. They're awesome. They're enhanced-tastic. <laughs> There's well, nothing there left on the board. <laughs> what are you that's talking awesome. about? There's a ton of stuff left. Well, it, well, it I looks mean, empty compared to what it was two That's turns true. Ago. <laughs> it is really clear. To, it was very crowded. Yeah. It's, I mean, well, you're talking about two armies that are go-for-the-throw armies. Yeah. And, and yeah. compared to a normal game, this is a lot of stuff left after six turns. Yeah. That's amazing. All right, here we go. All right, I'm ready. All right, tier, I think it's like 10.30 now. It was a five-hour game, which, by the way, is I could never, I could never play in a tournament. Yeah, I'm saying never. I just did that. Okay, so uh, Tyranid Redex, the obvious thing different this game is there were six Mycetic Spores. And I gotta tell you, the Mycetic Spores choked up the battlefield really quick. And I have to tell you that it is rain of confusion against an army that relied on shooting and not being assaulted. I think this would have done even better. Because it's like, here comes the army. Have fun for one turn. It's it's maximum one turn of shooting against them, and the beauty is with the uh, with the lash whips on some of those critical units like the Tyranid warriors. They're vulnerable, kind of sitting there for a turn, but if they've got cover, and the spore pods are really good at that, by the way, if they have cover, then. 
they can survive that shooting, and it, you, you really can't charge them uh, that with the lash whips, because it's like, okay, charge me. Okay, you're in initiative one, and you're just going to wail on all comers. The Tyranid Prime, he was a killing machine. I couldn't believe how well he did. I'm actually thinking that maybe, just maybe, the Hive Tyrant with the Tyrant Guard weren't the best way to go for leaders for this army. I'm thinking if you're going to do my set of spores at 2,500 points, you need eight. You need eight of them. Yeah. And the Shrikes, oh, so fat. Like, they were amazing. They went during the game that not only did they not come out turn one, not only did they not come out turn two, but they started on turn three and managed to get all the way over here and all the way back here. I mean, just amazing. And in an army like this where the whole battlefield is choked with other units and spore pods, they can move around pretty easily uh, without uh, getting too, too hampered. So, there it is. Hooray for Tyranids.